Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd. An Ubaid ibn Tamim, an Abdillah ibn Zayd ibn Asim al-Mazini. Radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma qal. Shukiya ila nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam rajalun yukhailu ilayhi anuhu yajidu shayf al-salat. Faqala la yansaraf hatta yasma'a sawtin o yajida rihim. In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is incredibly important and brings a very important fiqh principle for us, is deduced from this hadith. The hadith of uh, Ubad ibn Tamim on Abdullah ibn Zayd ibn Asim al-Mazani, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said that a man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he was complaining. He complained to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about that he found something during his prayer, meaning that he thought he had passed gas during his prayer. And the Prophet ﷺ said, do not uh, leave the prayer until you hear something or you smell something. In this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, it gives us a very important qaida, a very important principle in the religion. And that is that al yaqeen La yazil bishak. That when you're certain of something in the Sharia, if you're certain, for example, you're certain that you have wudu, and you doubt that you have broken your wudu, then that means you still have wudu. And the opposite is the case. If you are certain that you broke your wudu and you're not sure and you don't remember if you made wudu or not, then you do not have wudu. So that which you are certain of is not removed by that which you doubt. And in this hadith, the man he doubted, he wasn't sure whether he passed gas during his prayer or not. He wasn't sure. So that's why he complained to the Prophet ﷺ. He was fearful about his prayer. Was his prayer accepted or not? And the Prophet ﷺ gave him the important principles regarding the Salat. And he said, لا ينصرف حتى يسمع صوتن أو يجد الريح he said, do not, change, do not leave the prayer until you hear something or you smell something. So, from that, I have to ask, if, for example, I'm in my prayer, Abdurrahman, and in my prayer, I have a doubt if I pass gas or not. Should I leave the prayer or not? Yeah, I doubt that I pass gas. I'm not sure. But I know that I had tahara before the salat. So from the hadith, what should should I do? Should I continue praying or should I leave the prayer? Should I'm dead. You should wait till you hear sound or smell. Okay, jazakum Allah That you stay in the prayer because, because you doubted whether you broke tahara or not. You're not sure. But you are sure that you entered the prayer with... A tahara. So that is one of the most important principles we, der we get from this hadith, as the ulama mentioned. And some of the other benefits is that the asl of something is stays upon what it, what it is, meaning the origin of something. For example, the origin of being pure means you're still on purity. Unless something comes which is certain to remove that uh, to remove what you what you were originally on. And this also shows us that it is prohibited, it is not permissible to leave the prayer unless you are certain uh, you know there is some something that you have passed gas or something like that. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.